How's it going guys and gals and friends from hells? It's the Grim Hell here and welcome to Zombie. Zombie? Zombie. I want to say it's zombie. Um, a lot of uh, other YouTubers have uploaded this and I wanted to give it a shot. I wanted to see what it was like. So, um, away we go. Now, I'm not going to lie. I had recorded like 25 minutes of this, but I'm having trouble with Sony Vegas. Sony Vegas has decided that it wants to um, take 9,822 years to render. And so then when it's done rendering, um, I go to upload it, and YouTube wants to take 1,422,000 years to upload it. So, I don't know what to do about that. I don't know if... I, I don't I just don't know what to do so I'm gonna play it on standard and this game is amazing uh, it seems like it's a true survival horror and in those days shall men seek death and shall not find it and shall desire to die and death shall flee from him them and it should have been him but whatever. from air will bring a second blight and I'm sure you guys have seen that if you haven't I don't know what to tell you so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run and we're just gonna keep running it's not we're not gonna talk to anybody we're not gonna help anybody we don't even like people in fact uh, okay apparently you do have a sprint of some form or another and now I'm gonna fall Whee! made it am I, am I getting up I am getting him. Okay. So Come on. It's not too far now. Um this game has all the makings of a freaking amazing uh whoa what's going on here? Um the heck? Uh oh yeah, okay, sorry. I was like, I don't know where I'm going. Uh, and, I've, and I've played this part before. Hi guys, bye guys. Um, so, this game is freaking awesome. It, it has a lot of like survival horror stuff in it that just... It blows my mind, to be honest with you. Like, um... In normal mode, it's not like other games where you get like a restart point. What ends up happening is, is... Did you see how dark that was? <laughs> it didn't even show you who I was. Who am I? What's my name? I am Elijah Watson. I'm a stylist. Um... Thanks, Prepper. You're cool. You're a cool person. What? You're just like me. Um... So... This game, in normal mode, what happens, see, what happens is, is when you get bitten or taken down, your character becomes infected, and you start off as another character. And to me, that's really just pretty neat, honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. It's a smart map with radar and a connection back to me, so I can watch over you. And you skipping ahead. I, I don't need to listen to him. Now you can see what you're doing. Word. Go back to the main room and look at the monitors. Hey. The last person I tried to help. Is that Steve? Outside without the pad. And look oh, how poor but Steve. Something else you can Steve, use. what are you doing that there? That is a Bob. Bug out pad. <laughs> Bob. You need it. And what's inside? Had a friend named Bob. Uh, we were like best friends, and then I lived with him. Yeah. Don't ever live with people you want to be friends with because. Their bad habits tend to tick you off. I'm sure I, I'm sure I made him real happy. I'm sure he was very happy with me. I'm I'm the best person around. What can I say? Um, is there anything? I don't think there's really anything to like loot right now. But I'll look. No, I'm like I'm a hundred percent certain there's not because you don't have the bob. Now so now might be a good time to try out your radar. You mean this thing? Ta-da! There's the radar. I'm gonna tell you to grab the cricket bat, and then you're gonna have to beat somebody in the head. No, bad. Bad. If I got infected, I would want people to leave me alone, cause I'd be the coolest infected person ever. As I recall, there's a pistol and ammo you're definitely gonna need. 
Okay, see, the thing about this game is... Oh, wow, there's ammo right there. That's nice. Um, they don't give you, like, an abundance of ammo. And More looting stuff... Awake, and your decision-making goes to pieces. Don't neglect your sleep. Thanks. That's basically their way of saving, by the way, is sleeping. But, um... Searching, you you have to loot stuff. I mean, you have to try and look through everything. But the problem is is they give you such scarce amounts of stuff that they might as well just not give you anything at all. Um, on my first playthrough that I was doing that I had recorded about 25, 30 minutes of, I um, I ended up having an abundance. I had a full box of, of like ammo. I had like 20 rounds, basically, uh, plus whatever was in my weapon at the time. which it looks like is about thir I I don't know. I want to say they they say it's like 13 rounds or so. Um head back to the main room and check so, out the monitors. There you go. That'll get rid of that. And it was because I you have to play this really smart. You can't be you know doing that crazy shit. The CCTV cameras all over London. This one's from a supermarket near you. But the more eyes you have, the better. There's more cameras at that location, so I'll, I'll walk you through hacking them. Okay, thanks. People think CCTV cameras are secure, hardwired to police HQ. But they're wrong. I was they're a wrong. signals boy in the army. I wrong, I say. I a thing or two about secure comms. Cool. Good He's going to teach us about security. You've got to keep this place clean if you want to survive. Uh, yeah. You're... Thanks. Okay, so he's basically telling us we need to get the key card. Now, I do a lot of stuff a little bit different than most people. Um, I'm very much a completionist. I like to search through everything. Uh, not so much for, like, achievements. I'm not an achievement completionist anymore. But, like, when it comes to games, I like to search everything. Uh, but not in this game. This game is terrifying. Give me a sec. I'll get those shutters up for you. And there are moments where you can't. You you just have to run. There's no searching bodies and, and doing what you normally would. Because the enemies here, they don't give a fuck. They'll, they'll kill you and then they'll pee on your corpse or whatever they do. Um, so I'm almost playing it as if I were um, doing like survival. Which is basically where you have one life to live. I'm going to take these. These come in handy later on. You use them to barricade doors and it slows them down a little bit. Um, I've seen people use these, but I'm not going to use that yet because I don't, I don't know. I don't think it's right. You need a key card to get out. There's bound to be one somewhere. It's going to go. You can always tell when you're gonna, able to loot somebody. He's telling me I need to get a key card, by the way. Sorry, that's why I kind of stuttered there for a second. Most of the time you can tell if somebody's going to have stuff because you go through that animation where you're actually looting their... Oh my gosh, uh, ammo for... <laughs> I'm all like, oh, ammo so scarce. And ammo for days, apparently, this time around. Right, so we're going to do this. That's an explosive, like a propane canister, it looks like. Oh, sorry, guys. <sighs> else if you heard me yawning i apologize i, I don't mean to be yeah. shut up <laughs> just die now i'm gonna loot your body those are health items you get like sodas and candy bars you know typical shit nothing in there i, I ch like i said i check everything uh wait what oh crossover Oh, cross over that. I was like, cross over the desk? Like, okay. I'm like, well, why? Nothing in here. I noticed that most places don't have a lot of stuff. See, like, this is gonna have the key card that I needed, so... But for the most part, there's, like, nothing. There's more planks. I will gladly grab the planks. I can't remove these without a hammer, so that's the thing. 
the interesting thing is that zombie didn't break down that door to try and get out. The zombies won't aggro. I mean, the zombies like won't do stuff like that until they like, I don't know, smell living flesh or whatever. I'm not exactly sure how it works. Mm, I'm gonna go down here and take care of these zombies that are here because they might become a nuisance later. Take care of these bodies so they don't get up. And of course, for the most part, they're. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of. incoming. Check your radar. These guys will not die. What's going on here? I mean, these guys are real tough. Like. They they don't joke around with these zombies here. There we go. There's a bunch though. See all those like stuff? Like all those like people or whatever? It's weird. No. Sorry, but you must go. Oh, see, there's like a bunch of dots right in here. Wait, are they rats? Really? Mm. Interesting. So, here's the thing. I'm gonna loot. Hey, ammo. Uh, I didn't go this way before because I got real scared. I got all terrified and stuff. This, I can remove that bar, but I don't know what good it would do at this point. So I won't do that. I will look around a little bit. Um, this ladder actually just leads up to the second level. So let me go ahead and remove that bar instead. I've changed my mind. Actually, is there something in here? Eh. Guess not. Okay, I need to conserve my power for my. Wait a minute. Come on now. Need to conserve the power. Oh, there's more planks. Um. Hold on. I don't want to. Well, you know what I will. I'll grab these planks, but if I have to make a sacrifice between the planks and, you know, something else, I'll do it. Thing is, is you can't put the bar back on. Once you've opened that. Pandora's box, it's it's open for life, so that is a thing there. All of this stuff requires key cards and such. Interesting that the rats show up on radar. I was like really scared, I was like there's a mob, but there wasn't. It wasn't a mob at all. What is that? It must be a rat, it has to be. Yeah, it must have been a rat. It has to be a rat. It's a rat, see? Meh. I'm a, I'm a gangster, see? Alright. Let's get to this area. I've been dilly-dallying long enough in this area. Just searching. I search everything. It's you what I do. Wait a minute. A long time ago, I teamed up with a bunch of no hopers called the Ravens of D. I helped them fortify places like this. Because we knew this was coming. The Ravens of D, huh? Interesting. It's interesting that the rats are, um, more ammo. Jeez, I'm loaded for ammo. The rats are more ammo, that is correct. No, uh, it's just interesting that they show up as, like, enemy types. Obviously gonna need healing items. There's a reason to come down here. You could go that traditional way where you go around, but if you come down here, on the floor, there is, there should be an upgrade. Here it is. Upgrade for your uh, weapon, so. Also, by the way, yeah, the darkness is really freaking dark. That's why I have the light on right now. 
Because there's like no light source at all. Uh, this is the loading screen. This is basically whenever you're quick traveling or doing all kinds of other stuff. But the nice thing is you can skip it like fairly, like fairly often. John Dee predicted the plague and the Great Fire of London that stopped it. And he saw plague victims in his own lifetime. He even tried to find a cure, the panacea. But it's a myth. You can see as well as anyone. There's no cure for this. There's no cure for this. He's basically saying that... Oh, wait a minute. I'll get that for you. I've locked the place down for your safety. <laughs> if you try to open it, he'll tell you okay, to use the scanner to, to hack it, so... There you go. That's... I like how it, it produces, like, a light. Like, a pretty bright light, too. But you can't, like, move with it. That's the only thing, so... And very green. Scan every CCTV junction box you locate so I can hack it and bring those cameras back online. You got it, boss. Make sure there's no enemies in my area. And, of course, make sure that they're dead because. Whoa, there's planks right here. Apparently planks I can't grab. That's okay. I have like what four things of planks? I have three. And then I also put some in storage. So that's a thing. I don't need any more of those. I, I, I said that really loud. Like I was very like excited about it. Like, that's a thing. Wee! Like so that's a thing. Um so there might be something over here. Ah yes. Soda over here. Uh, healing items are always good. Those, the planks are also very useful to barricade. Like, I mean, you know, just in case. I mean, you don't want to... I mean, you don't want them to come in. And so if you can slow them down in any way, the planks are a good thing. So, like, I could talk really quiet and make it seem more atmospheric. The but... junction box, by the way. I That's did. You're right. In case you've never noticed one before. There you go. Now shut up. Excellent. Thanks. Your smart map's been updated. Without a good map, you're a goner out there. My asshole, though, for real. Uh, let's me climb onto. Here's something to loot. Probably won't have. It didn't have anything apparently. Like it had literally. It was so bad I didn't even get to look at it. <sighs> Hi. Sneak attack! My sneak attack is over 9,000, by the way. That's why I was able to do that. Um, might just be good to check around these areas a little bit before you... I mean, I'm, I'm kind of rushing through. It seems It's almost like I've done this before, but... Did you hear those people off in the distance? Yeah, that's a... That's a no-go. Oh, there's a flare. Nice. Bright lights to distract the dimwits. Bright lights to distract the dimwits, huh? Uh, somebody broke in here. Nope. There's four people, man. I don't, you, there's no, like, family photos, though. Hmm. Not, it doesn't actually look like there's anything in here. Can we? Oh, okay. I was like, can you climb the pipe? That'd be neat. That'd be a very advent advantageous spot, you know. Uh, up on the roof. Get a look at everything. Always check uh, trash cans. You never know. There might be something in there. And, you, yeah, I mean, something useful. Um, or there might not be. You never know. I mean, it could just be full of junk. I mean, that's the thing that happens from time to time. What is... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, so you could have snuck around him. That's interesting. Or her. Depends. Sometimes it's random. You could have snuck around him, though. That's a good thing to know. Sometimes you can't fight. Sometimes... Sometimes retreat is your best option. Sometimes being stealthy... I was going to say, sometimes being stealthy is what you need to do. You know what I mean? Like... I might have missed a newspaper, and if I did, I do apologize. Uh, I can always look for it again. There's nothing stopping me from looking for it. 
Because I have to go back and store stuff anyway, so. Had to mute my mic because I decided I wanted her to cough up a lung. So that's the thing that happens. Alright, so. Can't see. However, I have enough space for these. Do I? I don't. I'm gonna come back and I'm I'm gonna store those. That's just this what's is where gonna happen. It all started, and this is where it'll end. I promise you. Protect the safe house. Your survival depends on it. Hey, I have a little bit extra ammo. Wait, I'm gonna put that in there. Hey, let's see here. I haven't actually used my handgun or my weapon yet, uh, like, my hand, or my weapon, I've used my weapon, my weapon, if you know what I mean. No, I haven't used the handgun yet. With that stuff. Use it to set mine traps. Dear John, I'm sorry, but I just don't think we're going to agree on this point of well, interpretation. You heck? seem dead set on a scorched earth reading of the BP. Dear John, oh. I'm sorry, but I John? just don't think we're going to agree on this point of interpretation. You seem dead set on a scorched earth reading of the BP, whereas I, and Ron, and many of the others, see it more as a warning that we need to help people, not stand by and watch as it happens. Oh. I know you're angry with me and Ron for arguing with you at the last meeting, but I hope you can see that we're just advocating a better safe than sorry approach. It's like global warming. If we're wrong, well, at least we tried to make the world a better place, and no harm done. But if we're right, and we don't act quickly, we're putting the whole planet in danger. I wish you could see that. We're not trying to shut you out or shout you down like you suggested. I know you said those things in the heat of the moment, but even if you didn't mean them, they hurt. Your experience is invaluable to us. That's why I was asked to recruit you in the first place. But we're not children, and we do understand your point of view. We just disagree. The Council has asked me to suggest you take some time off from the meetings, because they don't feel you're being productive right now. I'm not going to do that because I still love you, and know how much being excluded from the Council would frustrate you. But I agree this fatalist agenda isn't productive. I'm about to leave for Clermont-Ferrand to see what I can dig up in their library about the Physici, as discussed at the last meeting. But I'll be back in time for bonfire night, so I'll call you, and we can go up to Ali Pali for the display. It's been too long since we spent an evening together, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, that was a Dear John letter, I think. That person's probably dead. I'm just saying, um, not trying to be rude or mean, but I'm fairly certain that person probably died. Uh, okay, it doesn't look like you can open the bathroom doors. I'm trying to remember where the first newspaper is, because there was another newspaper before that one. So, I'm going to go out this way, because I want to say that it was close to the Bob, or it was, like, over here or something. I remember finding it. I'm going to grab the planks, obviously. I'm going to stock up on as much shit as humanly possible, because... I mean, why not? Um, the more stuff you have, the better off you are, the you know, more prepared you can be. And that's all good stuff. Is it not in here? Am I wrong? I want to say that I was in here. Maybe I'm in a crazy person? Maybe. It's really hard to say. I mean, I could have swore I remember seeing a newspaper... That's not scary at all. It made a weird noise too before it did that. Wherefore art thou, newspaper? I know there's another one in here. If only I could like soak the floor and then they would electrocute themselves. I mean, it would bar off a path for me, but I think it'd be worth it. If it meant less zombies to fight. Hmm. Interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and save the game. Um, thus far, this game is really impressive to me, and it's only 20 bucks. That's the thing. The game might not be that long. I don't exactly know how long it is, but it is certainly intense. It is certainly um, there's a lot of 
backstory behind stuff, which is interesting, and I don't know, it, it seems, it's really interesting to me, it's very nifty. Um, I'm apparently a stylist named Elijah. Alright, so I saved. Um, I recommend checking it out, if you got 20 bucks. I sold my soul, um, <laughs> Joke's on you, I don't have a soul, I sold your soul to get a little bit of money so that way I could get a few games. And this was one of them, because I wanted to check it out. Um, my, my girlfriend said that it'd be really cool if it had, like, a... Uh, yeah, sure, why not? If it had a uh, multiplayer feature. There we go, sorry, I was distracted. So, you know, she said that, and I was like, yeah, I guess that could be cool. So, um, I don't know if you guys want to see more. I've been playing for a while now. I don't want this video to be too long for you, so. It's been, uh, 24 minutes, uh, so I think that's gonna do it. If you like the video, make sure to reap the like button, so I'll leave a comment down below letting me know what you think of the video. And remember, sharing is caring, so share with everyone. Don't forget to subscribe to join the Legion of Reapers. Till next time.